Good afternoon Philippines, this is Mike Padua once again, returning to our topical weather analysis for this Monday through Wednesday, September 14 to 16, 2020, and this is brought to you by Typhoon2000.com, the Philippines' first website on tropical cyclones. Let's begin with our update, here's the latest graph set. Beginning today, Monday, until tomorrow, Tuesday, we have now a low-pressure area, which was once a shallow one yesterday, uh, during our graph set, and today it's now uh, becoming an active an active LPA but right now it's still a moderate LPA with low chance of developing in the tropical cyclones within the next 24 hours because of its proximity, close proximity to the landmass of the Visayas. So this is now known as 90W so this tropical disturbance or low pressure area is uh, about 140 kilometers to the east of Giwan Eastern Samar and it is expected to traverse Samar provinces later tonight and tomorrow it will uh, pass over very near Masbate and by tomorrow afternoon it might be in the vicinity of uh, Romblon before heading across Mindoro okay since this system is so broad the low level center it's very hard to locate so it's uh, still a developing system with the broad uh, rain bands and what we call as the extension or the trough extended, extending all the way across the Visayas, Mimaropa, Mindanao, and also here across the Bicol region, Southern Luzon, and by tomorrow afternoon it might uh, reach Metro Manila, and later tonight uh, some of its fringe trough will reach Central Luzon, so expect some thunderstorms and rainy conditions for the next 24 hours. This system is quite moving uh, at a speed of 19 to 25 kph so it is likely that uh, based on the computer models it might develop into a tropical cyclone or tropical depression west of Mindoro come late Tuesday evening, tomorrow evening or Wednesday morning. So watch out for that. We will just bring out the latest uh, typhoon updates or the tropical cyclone updates if in case it's still within the Philippine landmass, but if it develops over the West Philippine Sea, uh, Pagasa will uh, likely issue a uh, warning on this system, but it will eventually move out of the Philippine area of responsibility come Thursday or Friday. And most likely it will be named locally as Leon, our next uh, list of names for, for the Philippine Islands based from the Pagasa list. And the rest of the Philippine Islands will remain uh, hot, sunny, with some afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms across the archipelago. Outside of the par, we have another surface trough, but it is not expected to become a low pressure area based on the computer model. So only 90W will uh, develop once it reaches the West Philippine Sea. As you can see, this is an early sign that we are really on a La Nina climate. Whenever there's a uh, La Nina climate, most of the tropical cyclones develop very close to the Philippines or west of the Philippines. So that's the usual pattern during a La Nina climate. So watch out for that. For the meantime, the effects of this uh, LPA will just bring isolated to scattered to at times widespread rain showers and thunderstorms across uh, three-fourths of the Philippine Islands. So beginning tonight until tomorrow, it might induce briefly the southwest monsoon once it reaches the West Philippine Sea, probably uh, uh, late Tuesday or Wednesday through Thursday, but it will just follow the circulation of 90W. So maybe this will, this will be the last of the uh, Habagat or the southwest monsoon. We'll see in the coming weeks. So far, this is the latest from our graph set. As we look at our fast animation, there you go, the uh, very broad LPA moving fast closer to eastern summer. So the uh, circulation is somewhere here, okay? And as it moves across the Visayas, it might reorganize over to the west of Mindoro. That is based on the computer models. And as we look at our zoom in satellite animation you can see here the uh, large circulation of this lpa trying to organize with the uh, thick thunderstorms affecting eastern Bicol region Catanduanes, eastern visayas portions of central and western visayas as well as mindanao because of its trough 
and these are uh, by the way localized thunderstorms it's uh, separated from the system it's not the effect of the LPA but these uh, rain bands here is already part of the LPA so uh, it will just bring uh, lots of rainfall across most parts of the country for the next two days and as we look at our three-day rain and wind forecast from ECMWF uh, by tomorrow afternoon you can see the system over the area in the vicinity of uh, Romblon as the system moves towards the west to west northwest and you can see the uh, large reach of the circulation with its trough and uh, as we look at the American model so this is the uh, ECMWF European model the American model is somewhat the same and on Wednesday afternoon there you go the uh, LPA already becoming a tropical depression uh, right here to the west of Mindoro and uh, some southwesterly surface wind flow excuse me so here this is the uh, southwest monsoon which might bring some rainfall across western Visayas uh, as well as Mimaropa uh, on Wednesday and on Thursday the monsoon will start to wind down just affecting uh, uh, parts of Mimaropa and improving the weather conditions will be expected in most parts of the country as the TD might become a tropical storm over the South China Sea outside the Philippine area of responsibility on Thursday. So it's all the same if we look at the American model, they are close with its track. So that will be the scenario for the next three days. So we will keep you updated on the development of the LPA but uh, no worries, it won't bring uh, high winds. It will just bring scattered to widespread rain showers and lots of thunderstorms for the next two days. So that's the latest from our weather update here at Typhoon2000.com. This is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser, hashtag typhoonwiser. And thank you very much for watching our weather update.